Today, we will take some time for ourselves, something we're often not very good at doing. The reality is God cares deeply for you before you can do anything for Him. And He wants that truth to settle deeply into our hearts today. We will be exploring what it means to have vision for ourselves holistically. How do we set ourselves up for success emotionally, physically, and spiritually? The truth is, you matter. And it's my prayer you are strengthened and encouraged today. Welcome to the First 15 Podcast. Our scripture for today comes from John 10, 10. Scripture says, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. For a long time, I believed that all God wanted from me was more. I feared he would lead me to more work, more giving, more sacrifice and less fun. I viewed fun and God as mutually exclusive, as if he was the great cosmic killjoy who only wanted me to sing, fast, pray, and evangelize. Wrapped up in all my misconceptions was a very me-centric point of view. I thought if I didn't work my fingers to the bone day in and day out for the kingdom, that God's will wasn't going to be accomplished. It's as if I believed that I was a savior, the sole hope of the world. And all these misconceptions led to a constant weight I couldn't seem to shake. But Isaiah 55 verses 10 through 11 says, for as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The truth is that God absolutely has good works laid out before me every single day. He has a plan for me that will impact eternity. But his chief desire in everything he asks of me is that we would do it together. He doesn't need me, he wants me. He is not a taskmaster and I am not his slave. Rather, he calls himself my heavenly father and I am to see myself as his son, a co-heir with Christ. God doesn't desire me to lift a finger if it's not out of love for him. He doesn't need or want any of my works birthed out of a place of striving. He doesn't need or want petty activity, reluctant yeses, programmed words, or burnout offerings. Allow the full impact of 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 through 3 to hit your heart today. Allow it to shift your perception of the heart of God. It says this, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge. And if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. In response to the truth of God's word, We need to have vision for ourselves. We need to set boundaries around our own emotional, physical, and spiritual health. 
We need to allow God to minister to our weary hearts, shift our perspectives on work, and empower us to live a life marked by inward abundance. What do you need today to enjoy life? What can you do with God rather than for God? What would he use to fill you up to a state of overflowing rather than running on empty? As you enter into a time of guided prayer, may you find freedom today from the mentality of a slave and live with the joy and peace of a child of the one true God. As we begin, meditate on the sovereignty and omnipotence of your Heavenly Father. Reflect on His unstoppable ability to accomplish His will. Isaiah 55 verses 10 through 11 says, For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. And next, meditate on God's desire for love rather than activity. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 through 3 says, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, And if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. And last, what would it look like to live an abundant life today? What do you need to create boundaries around? What would God use today to fill you up and satisfy the dry and weary places in your heart? Take time to rest in the love of God. John 10.10 says, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly.
the best boundary for maintaining a sense of health is having a weekly Sabbath. Genesis 2.3 tells us, God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it, God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. To rest is holy. It's a declaration to yourself and the world that life is about far more than work. It's a reminder that work is just a way that we live in relationship with God. May you find grace and courage to live in line with the culture of God's kingdom as you set boundaries around what you need in order to live an abundant life. Thanks so much for listening to today's podcast, Vision for Yourself. I'm Josh Miller with First 15. One of the most challenging things to do can be to simply stop and practice self-awareness. So often we just keep going, ignoring how we're really feeling or doing and suffer too long as a result. As you go about your day today, try and set aside time to simply be aware of how you're feeling what you're thinking, what matters most, what you're disappointed with. Often creating space to simply have vision for yourself, not even working to change things, can give us a greater measure of abundant life every day. Have a wonderful rest of your day and may God bless you as you seek Him.